golf course and broke some pharmacist machine. Stepped through a portal to an alternate dimension. Found out that our platypus is more than he seemed to be. Spent half a day running from an evil doppelganger. His army of robots both demanding and polite. Met ourselves and our sister, she's the ultimate resistor. The parry got captured and we knew that we had to fight. Get home using furs and moat, but quantum physics wouldn't let us rebound. But when they fed us to a goosem, we knew we had to lose them. So now we go the long way around. We gotta get gone, baby, get gone, gone, gotta get gone. One dimension after another. We gotta get gone, baby, get gone, gone, gotta get the gone. The first time I was with my sister and brother and me. Get gone. Hey, glad we found you guys. Uh oh. Ah! All right, attack it like it's a bear. Punch it in the nose. No, no, hey, wait, that's a shark. Step back against the wall to make yourself look weak. Actually, maybe that's what you do for pumas. No, no wait, wait. Uh, Try it. What a fearsome foe! Look out! the platypus as much as this pains me to say we are counting on you now look out he's on the move don't let him get away. Amazing! He's changing his molecular structure with a new form of gelatin! He's becoming vulnerable to your carbonators. You'll have to find another way to defeat him. Hurry! Now's your chance! Jump up to those switches and see what they do. You'll have to pull both switches. Oh, good one! Give him the old one, two! Yes! Oh. I can't believe I'm actually cheering for Perry the Platypus. Self-destruct button or something?
While you two were eating dessert, I was busy researching this mysterious turtle. He's an agent, codename Agent T. In this dimension, Phineas and Ferb took Baljeet along with him to the pet adoption center, and he picked a turtle. Team, meet Terry. Terry the turtle. Hey, I do remember a turtle at the pet adoption center where we picked out Perry. That must have been Agent T. Why couldn't he pick something cuter, like a rabbit? You could have been Agent Mr. Cutie Patootie. Yes, I've, I've been in contact with his division head, and Agent T has agreed to accompany us if we help him drain the gelatin from Danville. Okay, now I really know what we're gonna do today. We're gonna clear Danville of this gelatin flood. But first, you guys need to grab your jetpacks. We need to hit the skies running. <sighs> I hope today ends soon. Yonder. We've got more incoming! Looks like a new design. On any other day, I would consider a giant cube of fur odd. But seeing as we've escaped from the Guzim already, I would label this as commonplace, perhaps even hackneyed. He's charging! thing at the back of his throat. That looks like a weak spot. knew it was called the uvula. We need to make him charge off the edge. Whoa! You think he's okay? I'm sure he is. Villains always come back in the sequel. Well, team, I have just finished redirecting that Guzim portal in front of you. It now leads right to our secret headquarters underneath the city. Simply hop through. Let's 
Let's hit him hard. Elizabeth reigned over England for 44 years. She is not about to be undone by the likes of you. in time, sir.
Your shields are down. You've got to get them back up. If your shield energy ever fails, your jetpack goes on the fritz. Harry the Platypus! And, you know, well, the rest of you. Sorry, I, I'm really not used to giving my speeches to a group like this. It's usually a one-to-one -one set. <clears throat> anyway. Well, everyone! think stopping me is inevitable, but you will find it completely inevitable. No, oh, that's, that's, is that backwards? Anyway! Aha! Tremble in fear, Perry the, I mean everyone, at my latest invention! Well, you know, it's not really my invention. I, I found it in a storeroom, but I'm using it at the moment. That's why I call it my invention. Actually, it's kind of a tight fit. I, was this designed for a normal-sized pilot? I don't see how it could really fit any kind of normal human being. Regardless, notice how the device has attracted you to the outer walls like little flies to, to uh, oh, what attracts flies? What, uh, vinegar or flame or something? Or, uh, how did that go? I, you know, I, I took a class on colloquials in college and it's all just gone. Anyway, let's see what this baby can do, eh? Okay, let's try this button over here. Get up, you stupid machine, get up! Oh, hey, no fair! Oh, this button looks promising, it's red. All right, let's try this! this thing.
but, you know, there's really just no challenge here, so I'm ready to go back to our own dimension whenever anybody wants to... Okay. First, you have to shut this place down, deactivate all the robots, and free the people. Sure, no problem. Uh, sure, no problem. Let's see here. Oh, this. This must be the button to turn this stuff off. This is this is where I would put it. Of course, I don't know about other dimension. He's only got one backstory. What? You never know what he's gonna do. He's sort of a loose cannon. But I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm relatively positive. This this should be it. Oh, actually, uh, oh, I guess I I guess I would put a giant robot activator button there. Yeah. Yeah, and second thought, that's really more my my style, I suppose. Uh, I don't think you can possibly defeat this robot. I don't see any weak points. Wow, this thing sure sure uses a lot of power. I, I doubt it's carbon neutral. We're probably harming the environment right now. We just sabotaged the headquarters power plant. Did it have any effect? Ooh, ooh, look, there's its command center. Attack it right there now. Uh, guys, I think we need a little backup. Brother, I've got your back. Actually, this shows it has a level above angry. It has a couple. I, I, right now, it's hovering between furious and livid. All right, everyone. I think it's finally our turn. There's literally a gauge in here marked anger, and now the dial is just spinning around and around. Not sure what that means, but it can't be good. Uh-oh. I think it's time to bounce. Exit stage left. Come on, Perry. We've got two dimensions to save.
did the trick. Video log 45. Well, it's been about two months since we helped Other Dimension Ferb and Phineas defeat Dr. Doofenshmirtz. And this place is finally returning to normal. After that robot was destroyed, Phineas, Ferb, and the rest of their crew went back home. Although that's a different story. Anyway, here in our dimension, no one is wearing those terrible doofrawls anymore. And even better, they're reopening the school. But that's still 104 days away. And we've got a few plans on how to spend our first summer vacation. Oh, hey, Ferb, you're back with the plans. And you got the blowtorch. But what's the peanut butter for? Well, that's my cue. We're off to build the coolest roller coaster ever. Hey, Ferb, you got enough limits up there?